Mars has been the main target for finding past life and creating a living there for decades. Now, different robotic scientists sent to the Red Planet are on the mission to make this dream a reality, and one such robot, called Perseverance Rover, has taken the lead. The rover has made some mind-blowing discoveries about the planet recently, and scientists are eager to know if Mars is habitable or not. So, let's talk about it. Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about scientists' terrifying new discovery on Mars that changes everything. So, if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. For scientists searching for alien life forms, the siren song of Mars is climbing toward a crescendo. Multiple recent observations made by rovers on the Red Planet could bear the signatures of microbes, which is a possible indication that Earth is not the only refuge for life in the solar system. One exciting glimmer was announced recently by NASA's Curiosity rover, which observed a mixture of carbon isotopes in the rocks of Gale Crater that, if seen on Earth, would be a sign of life. The rover has also witnessed both random and seasonal surges of methane a gas on Earth that is predominantly produced biologically. In addition, about 2,300 miles away in Jezero Crater, NASA's Perseverance rover has spied strange purple coatings on the crater floor's rocks. These coatings are widespread and resemble desert varnishes on Earth that grow in the presence of microbes. For now, though, scientists aren't ready to conclude that our vermilion neighbor was once inhabited. Just about every alluring hint of biology could also be explained by some as yet unfamiliar aspect of Mars's geology or chemistry. There's just so much we don't know about how the planet works and how non-living phenomena could be masquerading as life's fingerprints. This is an alien world that we're looking at, and so who knows what we haven't even thought of, says Curiosity Deputy Project Scientist Abigail Freeman of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Scientists say the next step in probing Mars for life is bringing bits of the planet back to labs on Earth, where the sharpest instruments available can search for answers to one of humanity's oldest questions. The Perseverance rover is already busy collecting the first set of samples, which could contain evidence that microorganisms lived in Jezero Crater billions of years ago. No matter the answer, it will tell us something profound about the origins of life on our own planet. So much of the two planets' ancient history is similar, and it's so intriguing that in our planetary evolution, those pathways have diverged so greatly," says astrobiologist Amy Williams of the University of Florida. If there isn't life on Mars, why not? What changed? What happened? Why wouldn't it be there? And if it took hold, what happened to it? In our fantasies, Mars has always been inhabited, if not by aliens, then at least by our future selves. But spacecraft observations quickly snuffed out dreams of advanced civilizations, seasonally flourishing vegetation, or even benign gelatinous vegetarians. We don't have anything glowing, we don't have anything saying hello, we had no ray guns when we landed there," says Andrew Steele of the Carnegie Institution for Science. Instead, images from orbit and experiments conducted by NASA's Viking landers on the planet's surface made it clear that Mars was not a world awash in easily detectable life. That kind of kicked a hole in Mars research for a very long time, Steele says. In 1996, scientists announced that a Martian meteorite recovered from Antarctica's Allen Hills region appeared to contain microfossils tiny, worm-shaped, mineralized signs that life had crawled across the planet's surface some 4.1 billion years ago. Those observations were ambiguous and extremely divisive, provoking debates that persist to this day. But there was an upside. Then a new era of Mars exploration began in 2012, when NASA's six-wheeled Curiosity rover landed in Gale Crater. Today, the 96-mile-wide gouge is home to a large mountain containing many layers of sediments that preserve a record of the Martian past. Curiosity's primary goal is to search for signs of past habitability, such as water 
organic compounds, and an energy source, the ingredients necessary for life as we know it. Finding evidence of water was easy. After all, scientists already suspected the crater had once been filled by a deep lake. Curiosity almost immediately identified a swath of rocks that can form only when water is present. The rest hasn't been so simple. Over the years, Curiosity has uncovered evidence in the crater for numerous organic molecules, the chemical building blocks for carbon-based life forms, and it has spotted signs of ancient hydrothermal activity where heat and chemical compounds mixed with flowing water, creating possible energy sources. The rover has also determined that methane gas in the crater rises and falls as the seasons change and it has observed occasional massive pulses of the gas, confirming Earth-based observations that have defied explanation for more than a decade. Such fluctuations on Earth would be a strong sign of beings with active metabolisms. However, none of these observations have so far been linked to biology, and there's always a chance that processes we don't fully understand are mimicking the signatures of life. However, Curiosity's weirdest, most tantalizing observation only emerged recently. In multiple rock samples from various locations in the crater, the rover found organic compounds containing odd ratios of carbon isotopes, or atoms of the same element that contain different numbers of neutrons in their nuclei. On Earth, organisms prefer to use the lighter form of carbon in metabolic or photosynthetic reactions leading to a skewed ratio in which the lighter form is much more abundant than the heavier form. In five locations in Gale Crater, scientists found the exact same thing. Lighter carbon isotopes were much more abundant than their heavier cousins relative to what scientists have seen in the Martian atmosphere and in meteorites. Scientists have offered three possible explanations for this imbalance. The first is that the signature does indeed come from ancient microbes. Another possibility is that the solar system long ago sailed through an interstellar dust cloud with a peculiar carbon isotope ratio. Such clouds are known to exist, and it left its traces on Mars. And a third possible explanation is that ultraviolet light interacting with Mars's carbon dioxide atmosphere produced the odd signature. Apart from this, another shocking discovery was made by NASA's Perseverance rover recently, according to which it has found a mysterious coating on the rocks. NASA's Perseverance rover arrived at Jezero Crater on Mars last year, and it's also on the hunt for signs of ancient life. During its travels through Jezero, Perseverance spied numerous rocks with a purple iron-rich coating. Purdue University's Bradley Garzinski who is studying the coating says it's unlike anything that rovers have spotted on Mars before, even though rocks with different coatings have been seen on other parts of the planet. On Earth, such coatings are often observed in deserts where conglomerates of rock-munching microbes thrive. In addition, Lynch, who studies terrestrial analogs of Martian environments, says it wouldn't be out of the question to find biosignatures in the Jezero rock varnishes. Microbes do amazing things. They put coatings and varnishes on the rocks because they like to eat the rock, she says. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.